Hi there! So this one is a highly requested video. The Zebronix 9700 Pro soundbar. And I know it's practically not possible to cover everything that is requested, but I truly try my best. Also some requests do get delayed, like this one has been asked for quite a while, but it's here. Now I really wanted to say this, thank you to all my viewers and subscribers for your feedback, love and support. It's what keeps me going. It's actually what makes me texting. You made texting. Thank you all very much. Alright, coming back, so Zebronix 9700 Pro with 450 watt sound output and Dolby Atmos support. Everyone just loves Dolby Atmos and it's priced at 18,490, which seems like a pretty sweet deal, but not until we have experienced it ourselves. So let's unbox it and see if this one is worth your money or not. Let's pick it. So the soundbar comes in this brown outer boxing and protects the packaging. And here is the main box. We can see the Zebronix branding with 9700 Pro Dolby Atmos soundbar written on the right. On the other side are some manufacturing details and the MRP which is 45,999. Don't worry, you can get this for a lot lesser. Here are some features and ports, Bluetooth 5.0, wall mountable, USB, virtual 5.1, subwoofer, soundbar with 6 drivers, aux, LED display, Dolby Atmos, HDMI arc and 2 HDMI in. Yes, the soundbar comes with 3 HDMI ports. Further below, 4K HDR. Then here you can see the specifications, 450 watt output, dimensions of the soundbar, subwoofer and the contents of the box. Alright, let's open it up. So here's everything that you get inside the box, starting with the subwoofer itself. Right at the back there is the soundbar. Then here's a quick start guide, instruction manual. You can go through it, know about its controls and the setup process. Then you have two metal stands, which will come handy if you have to wall mount the soundbar. And of course, they've also provided screws and fastener for the same process. Then here's the remote. We'll talk about more in detail a little later. Then you have two AAA batteries for the remote as well. Then we have an optical cable provided in the packaging, the power cable for the soundbar, an analog aux cable is also included, and a really good quality HDMI cable. Now what's really good is that Zebronix has taken care in providing all the cables that you might need to set up the soundbar. These are small things, but really important things. Great job. So here is the soundbar itself, and it looks quite premium. The build is a combination of metal and plastic, you can see the metal grill on the front is going all the way to the back. The sides have this nice silver and black design, kind of adds to the aesthetic. You can see the Zebronix branding on the extreme left and Dolby Atmos logo on the extreme right. Now it has four 2.5 inch front firing speakers and two 2 inch top firing speakers. We also see four buttons on the top, the power button, volume up and down button and source input button. There is also a small LED display in the front which provides info of volume and input sources. Towards the back, starting from the left, is the power input, SW out, which is where you connect your subwoofer, USB port to connect your pen drive to play music, optical input, aux input and three HDMI ports, two input ports while one is HDMI arc out. Now, some of you might be confused, why are there three HDMI ports? Well, the idea is to connect your setup box or even a Fire TV stick to either of the two input HDMI ports on the soundbar and then connect an HDMI cable from the HDMI out on the soundbar to the HDMI arc on your TV. I know this can kind of get confusing, but the idea is to pass 4K HDR through your soundbar and you don't have to worry, the video quality will be amazing. Technically, you can connect your setup box or Fire TV stick directly to the TV as well and the sound will still come from the soundbar via HDMI arc, but Connecting them via the soundbar would make cable management and controlling all those devices much easier. Moving to the subwoofer, it's very sturdily built. You can see a single 6.5 inch speaker on the side covered with a soft black fabric. On the front is the base reflex cone and I love the groove design here. Something different. Single cable on the back that just plugs into the soundbar. Now the good thing is that the subwoofer doesn't need a separate power source but on the flip side, it has to be kept closer to the soundbar, unlike a wireless soundbar, which can be kept anywhere in the room. The subwoofer has a total output of 150 watts, while the soundbar has 300 watts, giving you a total of 450 watts. 
Here's a quick look at the remote. Now this is an infrared remote, so it'll work only when it's pointed towards the sound bar. There's a power button, mute button, input button, volume up and down, with pause, play and next to control music that's playing from the USB pen drive, preset equalizer hotkeys, there's music, news, movie and 3D. Then reduce increase treble and bass as per your preference. It's clean and really easy to use. Okay, let's set it up. So we connect the HDMI cable to the HDMI arc out on the soundbar and the other end of the cable to the HDMI port on the TV. Make sure you connect it to the TV's HDMI arc port and turn on CEC. You'll find CEC or custom electronic control in the input settings on your TV. The benefit of this will be that your soundbar turns on and off and you can even control the volume exactly from your TV's remote, which is really convenient. Also before we move further, a very important point. Make sure the top section of the soundbar is kept open and not covered in any way for the best audio experience as this comes with top firing speakers as well. Then connect the subwoofer wire to the port that says SW out behind the soundbar. Now let's press the power button and then press the input button to toggle sources. ARC, HD1 which stands for HDMI1, HD2 which stands for HDMI2, Blue is for Bluetooth, AUX, Optical and back to ARC. You will also see USB on the display when a pen drive is plugged in. Or time for that sound demo from the soundbar with music playing over Bluetooth. Here it is. Okay, so first thing, it gets very loud, which was kind of expected from a 450 watt soundbar. Also, the clarity of the drivers are amazing. It's sharp, it's crisp, extremely good highs and clear vocals. The bass is super deep. You can feel the windows in your room vibrate. It's that powerful. Bass lovers are absolutely going to love it. The punches and beats are so deep. In fact, I felt it's overpowering, so I reduced the bass a little. You can adjust the bass from the remote as per your preference. Okay, now time for the Dolby Atmos experience and I'm going to play a supported file from Netflix. You can spot the Dolby Atmos Dolby Vision logo on the top left. Here we go. So firstly, you need to know that it would be impossible for you to experience the true audio experience with my recording mics. But one thing I can vouch for that these sound terrific. The soundbar was able to create a good surround experience. However, to get a true Atmos experience, you need speakers towards the back or sides. But then for the price, they provide an extremely immersive experience. Now if you're someone who's looking for a soundbar with deep bass, Dolby Atmos support, clear audio and simple clean setup, this is the one to go for. However, I would like to point out two cons. One, the LED display, though it dims down, but still it could be a little distracting. I wish there was an option to completely turn it off. And second, the remote feels a little dated. Now, I know we've been seeing this Zebronic remote for a very long time and we've seen this on almost all Zebronic soundbars. I think they need to up their game with more options and a better design. Maybe an option to custom set the equalizer, maybe a Bluetooth remote, but something more. Probably I'm nitpicking on this one, but overall the remote is clean and pretty easy to use. But then the pros way outdo the cons. 450 watts power, super bass, Dolby Atmos support, HDMI arc and HDMI input. Wow! Of course, tons of other input options as well. This is an absolute killer. You can get the Zeb Duke 9700 Pro from Amazon for 18,490. I'll leave the links below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. This is one of the most complete soundbar experiences. It's really worth it. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.